Here we have an, here we have another one. And then and then work round of applause for this animal, this animal here being fooled. Provoked him. He found out the hard way. You gonna learn today, I'm telling you. There's a mount uppercut, ooze juice, shadow gods, shoes, a couple of what? Some things, diamonds. <laughs> you know what we do. Suspended from school, revoked from school, the campus. It happens to the best, right? Yep, they need the food, dinner, and more. And we have Magnificent. We talk, you know, the chase. This movie here was based on revoking the curse, which means changing someone from anger to good. Just, just, you know, demon stuff. More Mason Illuminati. Secret codings of puds of puddles. They out there. They were here. They were here before the dinosaurs. Try looking into that place where you dare not look. You'll find me there staring back at you. You mustn't speak! I remember your Gom Jabbar. Now you'll remember mine. I can kill with a word. And his word shall carry death eternal to those who stand against the righteous. The righteous? There is a Harkonnen among you. Give the Harkonnen a blade and let him stand forth. If Fade wishes, he can meet you with my blade in his hand. I wish it. This is a Harkonnen animal. Let me, please, my lord. They knew more about the dinosaurs than the dinosaurs. The dinosaurs say we had to get out of here. We're gonna learn today. If you don't learn nothing else, we got some more information. We'll take a look at it, play catch with it. Parole versus probation, because there is a difference. Offenders spend time in, in incarceration before release. Parole is an administration decision made by authority. Probation is a sentencing decision, while parole is a decision. Doing some time, 10 years, 20 years, 15, however, they give you parole for another 10, 5, Yo, 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 it's Big Ant, man. We back. Another edition of Urban Politicians TV. Uh, had to come tap in, man, on Jack Boy. Jack Boy was arrested for a number of things. One of the ones that kind of stood out on the charges was tampering with evidence. He said he had drugs in the car, things of that nature like that. But the issue is with this is Jack Boy is actually on probation right now. You know, from the time he was serving... Uh, I think that was last year he got out or maybe the year before that. And, you know, the narrative has always been, you know, him and Kodak are never free at the same time. Or I always knew I'd end up here. Every fear hides a wish. I think I'm going to like it here. You do? I do. You know why? It's simple. That's why I think I am. You know, I always thought white people should be in prison. I know it's the black race we keep there, but I always thought white people should be there. Y you know why? Why? To be with the black people. Does that sound too simple to you? No. Because we're lonely. But what I know, what I know, I think all this fear, fear we feel, must hide a wish. Because I don't feel it since I'm here. I don't. I think. You know, year round, we bust down. These terrifying elements. I talk about stuff in the spirit, the Bible, and all all these illusions and different secrets that they hide. You know, that's what we discuss on this end. You know, give it its drag it hard here. Reversing curses. Here we have. So what really happened to the dinosaurs? This narrator and many millions of other learned people, young and old alike, believe the biblical story of the great flood tells their fate. The Bible says that Noah took two of every kind of animal onto the ark. If that is true, then Noah would have included young dinosaurs, which were much smaller than their older adult counterpart. The environment before the flood was very different, and this allowed both men and animals to live extremely long lives. All reptiles grow from the time they are born to the time they die. So a reptile that was 600 to 900 years old 
would have been an extremely large animal, a dinosaur. The younger dinosaurs would have been much smaller. It's set up for you to get trapped and be provoked all the time. You know, setting traps like bait car. They have television shows where they set people up and to see what the individuals will do. Why didn't you get rid of the cat then? I tried, Mr. Halston. I tried. I'll kill it. Let me have it, Carolyn. I'll kill it. Carolyn Broadmoor locked the damn thing in her room. She became obsessed with the animal. that cats like to get babies and old people when they're asleep and steal their breath. Reebok, the shoes, the players, they also tennis, basketball. Once again, the sports that we have. So I talked about sports earlier. Now we have revoked and provoked happening on the field. On top of that, we have the clothes, if you were revoked. That's a lot of manifestation, a lot of frustration. These these spirits to a to a to a camel, putty, the manifestation, everything, you know. Mother nature itself has been corrupted, tainted. Eve was tempted in the in the garden of Eve. Eden. Her, Adam, as you see the bird, the raven, raven right there. Zoom in. American record producer, television personality actress, as well as a singer and songwriter, Tony Michelle Braxton was born on 7 October 1967 in Severn, Maryland, and rose to fame in 1993 when she released her self-titled debut album, which hit number one on the Billboard 200 music chart and succeeded in selling more than 10 million copies. All right, so today we're going to be talking about Tony Braxton and this missing engagement ring. Now, we all know that Tony Braxton is alleging that her engagement ring that she got from Birdman came up missing during a flight with Delta. All right, so fast forward it to a couple of days ago, Tony Braxton shows up in court, all right, and she's trying to find that ring. So before we go any further, let's run to the receipts that TMZ all right, has on this particular story, and let's read what they have to say, all right? All right, and it reads, Tony Braxton took an oath to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth Thursday, and told a jury she's heartbroken that the guy on trial stole her engagement ring and other precious jewelry. Number five, all of these coding, you see the number five and stuff like that, manifestations. For the who, the bigger deal. We have four regular kingdoms that you know of from the Bible revelations and stuff like that spread it on the four corners of the earth the persia the bear the lion and the other two i gave you the stuff after that the five the six the seven and the eight now concerning the dragon phoenix because i haven't gave y'all the white eagle as of yet what is it how did it come whose side is on none of that not gonna give no clues i know some individuals saying I may be making this stuff up as I go. Hey, if you feel that way, I don't I don't force you to, to listen to this stuff. The proof, undeniable proof, is right in your face if you spin yourself into, in, into an oblivion at this point. If you're a spy, little uh, critters. We haven't even talked about the four kingdoms to the dragon phoenix. It's bird as of yet, you know. Brady Bunt, I told y'all, all families is in hell. You want to be out here? A year? Did he say a year? Tell me he didn't say a year, man. I heard a year. He <laughs> would hold me and tell me he didn't say a year. A year's like that's forever. Oh, yeah. You realize this could severely affect campus hijinkage. Yeah. And how are we gonna whip those gammas now? With your dad's practice interrupt us. Listen, guys, cut the old man some slack. He has to be here. He was fired, and he can't find a good job without a degree. Fired. 
You out here making a bunch of kids, looking for prizes, or come up, you sell the other kids out. You have your two favorite, your one favorite. I know about all this stuff. Michael Jackson's, the Brassons, Madonna, all of these families that they inhale together. And normal families. This isn't no no games out here. It's about blood and bones. Provoke it, revoke it. If they see you provoke it too much, they start they start revoke it. If they see you revoke it, they provoke. So one without the other. They need it need one another. Hand in hand and vice versa. You know, they're looking for DYs. You just know it's bad. The element along with demons provokes you. The demons are the manifestors that manifest itself. That's why a demon will destroy itself. It will never leave certain towns and states, certain districts, certain families, etc, etc, etc. It manifests itself, give over power, spiritual power to the, uh, to, the, to the element, to unwaken it. That's where the real knowledge goes on, and even that's fiercely hierarchical. Why? Because the reptilian brain is fiercely hierarchical and obsessed with hierarchical structures of power. Now, you can also uh, see this and symbolize this in terms of a spider and a spider's web. The spider in the center is the inner, inner sanctum of the global manipulation, well away from the eyes of, of the public. Each of these strands in the web represents a secret society or an organization that is ultimately answerable to the spider. The closer you are to the spider, the more exclusive and secretive the secret society is until you come out um, further and you reach the organizations like the Council on Foreign Relations and the Royal Institute of International Affairs in London, which it's to some level interact with um, society. The Bilderberg group's a bit further back, but they interact with society. But still they are ultimately answerable through the hierarchy to the spider. That one, that level calls the shots and um, coordinates and dictates the global agenda. And that's what it's done to the world. The Jesuits um, are close to the spider, started by Ignatius uh, Loyola the Society of Jesus, and uh, Adam Weishaupt, who was the official uh, head of the Bavarian Illuminati, which was uh, very active at the time of the French Revolution, etc. Um, people get confused, the Bavarian Illuminati being the Illuminati, the Bavarian Illuminati. Different stuff like that. It's heavy hits. Shane Song. You know what we do. Mm -hmm. Don't feel a certain type of way if you get rejected, which is another word. But revolt is the head sergeant of cancel, stop, rejected, so forth. Here we have Bill, <laughs> several chins, work with the so-called best, grew up stars, Mr. Builder, Mr. Cosby. He provoked women, drugged them, Mr. R. Kelly. They know what they did. If you think it's a hoax, world population controls world domination. You provoked God, you revoked. You may feel in charge, but you, but you're not. No, no man or woman is. See, Rome, they own the world. August is actually the sixth month, yo. Because back in the good old times, the original calendar for the year, August was the sixth month, yo. So, Nipsey Hussle was born August 15th, 1985. When you do the numerology for his name, yo, look up how to calculate a birth chart, yo. Numbers and the cosmos, it does not lie. See, he, see, when you add up 6, 15, 1985, yo, you get the number 8, yo. The number 8. And the number 8 is really symbolic because, look, 8 represents life and death. It represents transformation. It, rep it, it represents the beginning and the end, yo. See, when you get his name, Nipsey Hussle's name, it's Ermius Asdom. Now, when you do the numerology for his name, you get the number six, yo. So he was he was born on an eight, and he was given the six energy, yo. Eight and six. It's a nerve-wracking thing. 
Two residents were trapped after rainfall triggered mudslide hit Wollong National Nature Reserve late Tuesday night. One was successfully rescued, while the other was washed away by the floods. The country's meteorological agency has warned that the heavy rain in Sichuan could trigger landslides, mudslides, floods, and other disasters. Oh yeah, and every day is a so-called test. Then that means the back of some heads have to be lost. If you tune in time and time again, you watch these episodes. You learn nothing. You just another psychopath that live around me. As many of them, as many puds, as many squids took my kindness for weakness. They say he haven't lost his mind yet. He's not using violence on his channel. What is he? What, what is going on? I say, we're on quite a run. We blew up the Great Wall of China, bombed the Eiffel Tower, and look at this note I sent off. Dear Pakistan, up yours. Love, India. Let's see what happens. They did not need much. Breaking news, only thing that's breaking is pockets, windows, teletubby, fusion, antennas. That's the only thing breaking. Roach, antennas, and a couple Possum tails. That's the only lizard tails. You ever seen a lizard tail break? Huh? Talking to you. Y'all zoomed out? You listening? If you're listening, give yourself a sense of being. Knock them out. Dust them off. You know, ye these loud preachers. You like to be yelled at. You have all those kids from your spouse, the preacher, your boss. You, you, <laughs> spin them around. You know what I'm saying? Like I told you, on the WWE. ECW champions, boxing, swimming, a tutor. Y'all all owe me checks. Oh yeah, oh yeah. For these deceased infants, you think it's a game. Y'all better understand. You better smell the fresh air, smell the coffee, the wind. Hello everybody, welcome to the Impressive Channel. I wanna talk about the incident involving the rapper Young Miami. If you don't know who Young Miami is, she is a part of the rap duo called The City Girls, and The City Girls have been making quite a bit of buzz this summer with their hit Act Up. But Young Miami was recently targeted in Miami by somebody, and we don't know who it is, but early this morning while she was at Circle House Studios, her G-Wagon, her red Mercedes G-Wagon was shot up 14 times, y'all, was explaining what happened to her boyfriend, Southside 808. And it's sad that somebody would try to target her knowing that she's pregnant. I'm telling you, people are crazy. We live in a crazy world, y'all. Right now, it is unclear who the suspect is, but it has been rumored that this incident might be somehow connected to the beef that her boyfriend, Southside, has with the rapper Kodak Black. You know what I mean? Get you these collaborates. Different types of provoke. Look at this revoke, provoke, cash, money situation. Need something, they provoke you or revoke. You on the road, you could revoke it. Some folks, like I told y'all, constantly do dinosaurs. They do dinosaur stuff. The dinosaurs say, hey, listen, listen, no more wine, no more bullying. You out here picking up trees, other dinosaurs, <laughs> giving them rides. Like, well, what is what is going on? Zoom out. All right, so this thing's going around the web that Angelina Jolie is in Cambodia and she is feeding her children scorpions and tarantulas and other insects. And here's the thing about this. Now, of course, she played uh, various nefarious characters, including uh, Maleficent, which was this villain, the supervillain that was a protagonist. And I talked about how they had one big scene to explain her uh, descent into villainy that her wings were cut off and Angelina and the writer and everybody said that was a metaphor for rape. So they had this Disney film and they had young children who were watching this Disney film 
and they were all subjected to a metaphor for rape. So that's what you're bringing your three and four and five year old kid to these, this Disney film where the supervillain is the protagonist. Again, putting out a, a but Baphomet looking satanic protagonist as the hero in this movie. Huh? We don't know still? You want some more? Well, girls. Oh, yeah. Like I say, you're going to learn today if you don't learn nothing else. You know what I mean, people? Mm hmm. Look at this. Heads and suits, different suits here. Angry faces. These folks been around the world two, three, five, six times. Yet, I'm smarter than them. Most of y'all foreigners, y'all from different countries, shadow gods, shoes, uppercut. Oh yeah, I'm gonna send the, the lion your way. Fusions your way. I'm gonna send a pud for a pud. A gargoyle for a Tasmania. You! What does it take to destroy you? Ugh. Goliath, run! I'll handle Demona. We'll handle her together. A Powerpuff Girl for a Dexter, a Dexter Laboratory. I'm a skin. <laughs> you just never gonna see it coming. Oh yeah. Please, don't feed the trolls. Mm-hmm. Feed them what? Lies. They love to be lied to. That, uh, anytime I talk about Yahshua, they flee. I love it. You know why? Because <laughs> they flee. Like the flea market. Fleas. Fleas on animals. Decline. No more. It's finished. Revoked. Provoked. Can't use it. Maxed out. Overdraft. Black card. I need several of these right here. Give yourself a pat on the top of your head. Oh, yeah. Cone heads. They outdid you. Cone heads. I'm going to keep coming up with these names. For you puds, for, 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 for all of you. We're not gonna stop until the fat lady is no longer the fat lady. But this was provoked versus revoked, the vice versa. Never know. And no, no, life is it. Vi Your heart betrays you, Cetrion. I have failed you, dearest Cetrion. You have done admirably. Yet there is one final service to perform. Yes, Mother. I understand. You will be exalted in the new era, Cetrion. will not fight your endless wars. Fight me further and your friends are lost. They have no future unless I create it. The future you offer is not worth living. It will not come to pass. is finished, Liu Kang.
Lord Raiden. I am merely Raiden now. You have proven worthy to take my place as Earthrealm's new protector, Lord Liu Kang. Where do we go from here? The sands of time are yours to shape. You must return the hourglass to the dawn of time and sculpt a new history, a better one. The fate of all realms in my hands? Raiden, I cannot do this alone. Yes, you will need a partner with whom you can share the eons. Kitana. Your destinies have always been intertwined. We are far in the past, but not so far that I cannot reach her. Return with her to the dawn of time. Sculpt the hourglass's sands to forge a better future. I look forward to meeting again in the next timeline. Then I will not say goodbye. Are you ready? Yes. But no matter how we sculpt the sands, we cannot plan for every possibility. Mortals will make their own choices. New evils will arise. Each realm must choose its own destiny. Whatever those choices, we will face them together.